What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard at this, it's dead meat. Dull machete for Lamus kill will be that woman from the crosswalk. It's done entirely off screen and we don't even get a frozen head reveal out of it. Dull machete for Lamus kill will go to Patrick Bateman since it's as disrespectful to the character as this screenplay is to the original film. Dull machete for Lamus kill will go to all the dragged away bodies. They were annoying to keep track of and you know, if you tried dragging a body around, they'll give you more back problems than an 18 hour day in makeup. Dull machete for Lamus kill will go to the townsfolk eaten by demons. Those kills weren't very filling and left me hungry for more. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the Russian scientist who was bored to death by Grigori. Same. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to his partner Little John. Real fucking dumb how he just stands there and lets Michael Myers kill him. And off screen, come on, have a little dignity, Stuart! Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the people in the obituaries. I didn't want to count them, but I felt obligated by the kill count rules as I have tried my best to establish and follow. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Sally Hardest not because of how it happened, but because it happened. All that did was verify that the Sally subplot was garbage. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Peter, who maybe could have kept playing if he had kept better cardiovascular health. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill goes to Dracula himself. An icon shouldn't go out as a sound effect. Come on! Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the cop Mamu Walde killed on the street. I don't even really know what happened there. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Phoenix's mom Josephine. A single shot to the stomach put her down. Oh, and probably breathing in all that meth lab fire smoke. And I don't have a doll machete for this one. The other two kills were both solid in their own right. I don't want to punish them by default. Doll machete for Lamus kill goes to either of the two unknown bodies. I didn't even want to count them. Doll machete for Lamus kill will go to Charles Lee Ray the human. Voodoo escape or not, the Lakeshore Strangler was brought down by some bullets. Doll machete for Lamus kill will go to Joanne when her life clock crystal turned black. The whole thing is kind of goofy looking, even if I appreciate the sewing sound effects used to build tension. Doll machete for Lamus kill will go to Jack since it's mostly off screen. And I really like that guy. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the security guard, killed off screen by his own gun that he probably didn't need at a carnival. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Jenna, since her body was found after getting killed off screen. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the RV couple, killed off screen and probably undeserving of it. I bet they were retirees just trying to road trip, you doll monsters! Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Inspector Carter, since I didn't even know who he was when we saw the body. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Stan Stan the Chauffeur Man, whose death was as pathetic as his character. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Daniel Pierce, whose kill Chucky couldn't bother to complete on screen. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill goes to Nurse Ashley. Drills are heavy, bits are narrow. That does not make sense. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill overall will go to the guy that drove off the cliff in the commercial, even if he is now an Emmy Award winning writer for last week tonight. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Nathan Cross. So what, Chucky stabbed this guy's bud and he didn't yell out or anything? Thing? It just sat there and died, bleeding through his mouth? Come on, get out of here. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill goes to Grandpa Munster, shot in the head for giving away trade secrets. Dull Machete for Lamus to Human Kill will go to Chris, a lame bloodless kill for a lame gutless character. And for animatronics, it goes to Siren Sarah. I don't like the way it looks when she's launched backwards. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to the rando guards, who I guess got killed when Jack was batting them around. And I won't give a Dull Machete for this movie. It would feel weird to penalize a child murder for not being being on screen. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Brian, since his actions felt unmotivated and it's a bloodless flick. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Emma, I guess, found dead after a drugged up tumble down the stairs. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to that slow ass motherfucking guard who got his head bashed against some bars. Dude, where were you? Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Paka, since it's an off screen kill that wasn't even done by a predator. Tough luck, dude. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill goes to Santa Claus, mainly because, I mean, did they eat him? I'm not sure what gremlins do. And they had all winter to figure this out. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill goes to Mr. Wing because he didn't even get a death scene. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Principal Hembry. It's not very good. Doesn't even make me want to say A. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Hallie since it's a basic slice and dice with an exceptionally dumb build up. What? You heard me. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill will go to Cotton Weary. Look at how buff Lee of Schreiber is. I don't buy that Roman Bridger took him down. 100% bullshit is more like it. Dull Machete for Lamus Kill definitely goes to Ivan. For a main character, his death was blink and you miss it bad. 
Don't Machete for Lamest Kill will go to Deputy Haas. A single stab, even the victim had his back to. Don't Machete for Lamest Kill will go to Deputy Clay. Was that his name? I never really asked. Don't Machete for Lamest Kill goes to Private Bedford. Plenty of people got killed off screen, but this is via neck snap sound effect. Show us some bone, Boyle. 